that data and and I was to graph it or plot it out if I look at the dice numbers there's six numbers on the die one through six and if I rolled the die a thousand times each one of those numbers we would expect to come up to around 166.67 so our our kind of perfect model that we have in our head which is too perfect because it doesn't take into effect I count the randomness because this is basically a sample instead of the entire population of dice rolls which we imagine to be like an infinite number of dice rolls uh, it would look like this now if I was to graph that in a histogram then we've got the dice one through six and the expected roll it would be just a straight line right we we would expect all of them to be 167 across the board and obviously we have now a straight line and notice that the straight line you might say that the uniform that's what the uniform distribution will be you might say well look there's only one of those it's not really a family of curves but obviously if we rolled the die for some other number other than a thousand times if we rolled the die you know 200 times we would expect the outcome to be 200 times the point uh, 1.66666 on and on so it would be 33 so the so it's actually kind of a family of curves because the straight line is up here if we rolled it 200 times it would have a straight line at the 33 so these are a family of curves that which are basically straight lines which are just straight lines right which are the uniform distribution uh that 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 we would have that would be our expected outcome formula for it f of x equals c we're going to have the same the same outcome because it's uniform nice easy uh equation for us our, our predictions are are nice and and easy although they're not going to be perfect because in real life there's going to be the randomness involved now if we were to approximate what actually would happen if i rolled the dice a thousand times uh, you could do this in Excel and you could do it by by using the random number generator uh, which would look like this random between and then the bottom number would be one top number would be six uh, my voice cracked I'm just gonna copy and if we copied that down a thousand times I don't think I added all thousand I only went down to here but if you do this in the Excel worksheet that we will have as well you would have a thousand numbers that are approximating that are randomly generated as a dice rule would be random in theory right uh, one through six so the likelihood of of this one coming out a a two was you know one out of six right so so we rolled a two then we rolled a five then we rolled a three then we rolled a six then we rolled a one a one a four and so on and so forth so if we take then that data we could say let's do it this way we can say okay now we've got the dice one through six we've got the ex uh the expected rolls were even this is what we expected to happen but this is what actually happened now this actual data we're, we're pulling in uh from from our data set over here by basically counting the numbers that are coming up and the formula in Excel would look something like this. We're going to say equals count if brackets. We're going to be picking up our entire range. You can see it goes down to a thousand in, in Excel. And then we want the criteria. So we want you to count every number in this range if it has Q2, which represents this number one. So if you find this number one in the range, count it. And it says that that happened 180 